All right, fellas, tell me if you like this building. There are the Aussies that are stealing the hearts of the ladies of the KTLA Entertainment Department. The, the one guy was so impressed that you play the bagpipes. Yeah, I did when I was in high school. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, Emma, who, of course, is our Scottish dancer. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. So she was, the, she was like, arrange. Anyway, a <laughs> uh, new movie is called Danger Close. It's uh, Travis Fimmel and Luke Bracey. Gentlemen, nice to see you both. Good to see you. This is a real story about Australian soldiers. I don't think necessarily a lot of Americans know that uh, the Australian military participated in the Vietnam conflict. Yeah, we were one of the only other countries. It was, I think, New Zealand and South Korea and uh, uh, and maybe one or two other countries that participated in Vietnam with the Americans. And this is kind of the most infamous battle that the Australians were involved in. It was a, a company of men, about 100 blokes, and they took on a force of, an estimated force of about 2,000 North Vietnamese mm. uh, army. So it was a tremendous story of, you know, ordinary blokes doing extraordinary things. When you are immersed in a world like this, I guess on one level, you, you do or don't forget the cameras are there. You know you're play acting, or do you feel you're really part of it? Um, I'm not one of those actors, <laughs> mate. I'll, as soon as the camera's finished, I'll be... Where's my coffee? Yeah. Back to no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, I'll be talking to everybody. But, uh, it was a great experience, mate, and obviously it's absolutely nothing compared to what the real boys went through. You know, no, average age is 20 years old. Wow. So, yeah. Uh -huh. And most of them conscripts as well, and yeah, it's you know, to get to meet these guys as well, and you know, you know it's just it gives you a great perspective on on, on our lives and, and where we are and, and how lucky we are. Um, you were in Hacksaw Ridge, yeah. which was about a different conflict. Yeah. And and do the movies differ as the, as the as the wars differ? Yeah, and I mean like this is this is such a quintessentially you know this is a really great Australian story. I think this is a really interesting way to kind of look into the psyche of of what Australia and New Zealanders are like as people. You know, it's all about the bloke next to you and kind of looking out for your mate. And that's a big part of Australian culture. And this is a big part of this film. It's, you know, these 20 year old blokes who, um, who just looked out for the guy next to him, you know? Well, we're gonna take a, a look at the movie. Uh, here's a clip, watch. I need Sheldrake to jump on my position. Over. He wants me to target his position. This is four. Say again. Over. Four, this is four, two. We have been flanked on all sides. About to be overrun. Target my location. Over. This is three, four. Negative. I can't do it. Over. If you don't jump in the next 30 seconds, we'll all be dead. You understand me? Over. Sir, we can't allow this. Major's the commanding officer in the field. He'll make the call. Now, this wow. uh, played in your native Australia, and you were saying the veterans there were very receptive to it. Yeah, we were really fortunate with the film that um, all our extras in the film were uh, Iraq and Afghanistan veterans. Mm -hmm. There's a great company down there run by a bloke called Sean Barry, got extra specialists where they kind of help bring uh, veterans back into the community by giving them jobs in, in kind of films and stunt work. And so to have those guys around us filming when we were filming, kind of giving us the nod saying, you're doing a good job, it kind of you know, us pretending to be heroes, being surrounded by real heroes, it kind of, it takes a, a bit of that uh, pressure off on us, you know, so uh, for them to say good job was, uh, yeah, what do you think we were pretty... Travis, it was, it was unclear to me if your microphone is broken or not, but if you want to whisper into uh, <laughs> Luke's uh, shirt there, was there, any, as you answer this key question, was there Vegemite and beer on the set? Ah, oh, the... Uh, no beer, but there's Vegemite. <laughs> and is, is Vegemite good or is it awful? It's brilliant, man. I love you, it. You guys yeah. really like it? Yeah. yeah. Love it. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know, you just grew up. Yeah. Most people. And then and there's you... a Marmite competition. Yeah, I don't like Marmite. It's not good. No, I like the Vegemite. Uh, yeah. Any other Australia stuff that we need to know about to further immerse ourselves in the culture? No, uh, I mean, it's a, Australia's all about, you know, taking care of the bloke next to you and, you know, being mates and, and you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the film's really that's about. That's what the film's yeah. about, you know. You're not worried about yourself, you're worried about the person next to you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell you, Danger Close is in theaters now, available also on video on demand and digital. Gents, very nice Thank to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you.